Hi, my name is Sean, and I'm the Community Manager at Self Publishing School, and I'd like to give you an inside peek at one of the most popular author writing programs out there, called Scrivener. Scrivener is a program that you can download to your computer, and it's often compared to things like Microsoft Word or Apple Pages, uh, but in truth, it goes a lot further for authors. There's a lot more you can do with Scrivener. The cost of the program is $45, and that's for lifetime use of the program, and you can purchase a license either for the Mac version or the PC version. And it comes with what they consider a generous household license, so you can install it on multiple computers in your home. Uh, but the one catch is if you do have a PC and a Mac, you're going to have to buy both versions. All right, so let's jump right into a Scrivener project file so I can show you exactly what it's like when you're working with Scrivener. So at first glance, it does look like a word processing tool similar to Microsoft Word or Google Docs, where you have all your writing on the right side here. And on the left side, you have a general outline of your project. But that outline does much more. You can see that it's arranged in what's called a binder. And in that binder, you can, all, you can have your manuscript. You can have your manuscript not all just as one piece, but you can have it divided up into different sections. So when you're writing, you can focus just on that section. So you can pull one section up. You can take and look and focus your writing just on that section. Or you can even pull up a, a different section below uh, in a separate window so you can refer back to something else. So say you wanted to refer back to something else you had written, and so you can make sure that they are going to match up. It makes it very easy instead of having to jump in between the different places in the file, you can pull both those up at the same time. Also going back over to the left, looking in the binder, you can have not only your manuscript or your writings, but you can have areas for character descriptions, for setting sketches. You can have an area for your front matter for your book. And not just one, but you can have different sections for your types of books. So your general manuscript, your paperback, your ebook, and they can each have different information so that when you compile them, you can have different versions for each of those. You can also see in the bottom left corner, you can have your research section. So you can have links to websites in here. You can use different text files, pictures, anything that you want to use for research, then you can easily pull that up when you're looking in a different window, pull up the what you're using for research, and then go ahead and write uh, in the window that you want to be writing in. At the bottom here, you can also see there are templates that you can use for character sketches, setting sketches, uh, and for nonfiction authors, you can use these to have your customer avatar there. And there's a dedicated trash bin for each file. This comes in really handy when you start to pull things down into trash uh, and then you look for them later. You can go back in here and so it's not emptied with the rest of your main computer's uh, trash file. So you can see just by how it's organized on the left that it does much more than just an average word processing program. But that's just barely scratching the surface. As you get in, there's so many different features. I'm going to show you a few of them that are my favorites starting off with the project file where you can bring up project targets. So you can see this brings up a little window where you can look at your general manuscript target, your session target for each time you're writing. You can even bring up little target windows for each one of the different areas that you're writing in. So you can see how far you've gotten in each one. Now as you start off, it begins in red, moves to yellow, and then eventually goes to green. And it's a great way to give instant feedback and really propel yourself to get towards your word goals. Oftentimes I'll set these goals at either 1,000 or 2,000 words and as I see it get into green, uh, it gives me that motivation to continue either to my goal or in many cases it gives me the motivation to exceed my goals. So another great feature to keep you focused uh, so that you're not distracted easily while you're on your computer is to go into a different view that they call composition mode. So when you pull it up this way, it's gonna bring up a different screen where it only shows what you're writing and blocks out all the different editing menus, all the different things that you may have going on your computer and just focuses solely on your writing. Now you can choose to have things like your project targets in view so you can see how you're doing with your targets or you can take that away too so you just have the page that you're working on and it's just you and your writing distraction free. Now the last feature I wanna show you here in this quick video is probably the most powerful in my opinion and that's the compile feature. So I'm gonna click on this button that says compile and this is how you're going to export your manuscript. And there are so many settings in here that you may have to go through. This is the one thing that does take a little time to learn is you're gonna go through here and see how to compile, but you can compile it for print. You can go into a Word doc, but you can also go into an EPUB file. Uh, so a .mobi file for Amazon or a file for that can be used with iBooks. 
You can export it as a web page. There are so many ways to export your file. And these three right here, the EPUB, .mobi, and the .docx, these are the files that you're gonna need for all the major online book distributors. So instead of having to go through a formatter, I can use this right here and have it compiled directly to a .mobi file. That is gonna save you enough money just to pay for the program right there. Uh, now I use it on many occasions where I've published a book and I realize there's a change that needs to be made. I go back, make the change in, in Scrivener, and I export it again and upload it again. And for that second or third time that I do that, I still don't have to pay that formatter. And again, that's just money that I'm saving with this program. So to me, this is one of the most powerful features of Scrivener, uh, and I use it all the time. So I hope that gives you a good general overview. And that's just a few of the features uh, that you get with Scrivener. And I encourage you to go take a look at their website and just scroll through the features and see all the different things that you can do with Scrivener. Uh, and even use the free trial. I believe it's a 30-day free trial. You can use it and see if you like it before you have to purchase it.